We're just uh, making up some tent stakes, tarp stakes, whatever. Um, neither of us brought pegs. I actually forgot mine. But we're using this alder, and it's uh, super easy to use. So got my four stakes there, and uh, you know, try and set up before it gets too dark. We get some firewood going too. So, so when I want to attach my uh, paracord to my loops, these are for my stakes. These are girth hitch. It's super easy. You just uh, take your running end, fold it over, make a little, little bit of a loop, and slide it through your tab. And when you got it through. You put the running end and the other side through the loop, and you just pull the tail out. Then it's on there, really easy, it's not coming off, and when you want to take it off, it doesn't get cinched on too tight, so pretty good. Nice. Just a quick shot of what we'll get to look out at. That ice, uh, that lake is completely solid. We were walking on it, it's all ice. And which is weird because there's no snow on the ground. So that's our camp, or sorry, that's the lake. And we are just right up in here. Obviously you can see it's getting darker up in the woods. Wow, Kyle's singing rap songs. Up in here. There you go. Good start to the camp, to the... Got a kick-ass fire going, just about dark out there. So all we gotta do now, tonight, is uh, cook up some food and drink some Sailor Jerry. Call it a night, my kind of a Thursday. So. Wow, so Kyle is generously helping me with his insanely bright flashlight. Uh, we got, on for dinner tonight, two foil packets with, uh, what do you got, potatoes and onions in them? Yes, sir. And then, that would be pork tenderloin wrapped in bacon cut in half. We're gonna eat uh, pretty good. So last night wasn't too bad. Probably got, we don't know what, what the temperature was. Negative five Celsius maybe. Um, but I used a down bag with my Thermarest Neo Air mattress inside of an REI bivy bag. And this REI bivy bag did not breathe at all. I ended up with a puddle in my, just from sweat. In my, in my, uh, or maybe condensation as well, in my baby oh, bag. The bag. It's crazy. So, I gotta try and dry stuff out today a little bit. Uh, it's not too big a deal because we're gonna get that super shelter going. It's gonna be dry and warm in there. But, oh, um, oh, we got food on right now. Kyle's making some scrambled eggs. And, uh, we'll just hang out for a little bit before we pack up and hike across the lake. Alright, so now we got some uh, pepper jack cheese. Dude, that looks phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be good. The cheese in there. If you could only smell this. All right, here comes the fun part. <laughs> well, no, it's not that bad, actually. No, that's about perfect. I'm telling you, man, you coat this thing up with butter, it's good to go. Dude, this, oh my god, it smells so good. No oatmeal in a packet for me. Yeah, screw that crap. Moving on up in the world. We've relocated across the lake here to the other side. I think we're going to drop our bags, leave them here at this campsite, and go off, uh, off trail, up into the woods over there. And we're going to set up our permanent, semi-permanent shelter for two nights there. It's real overcast today.
They're crazy. We're just hoping the rain doesn't come in because that would suck. There's more snow over on this side. Yeah, it's nice and flat. And how far do you think? You said about 16 feet? Yeah. There's yep. no dead shit overhead. There's that one leaner, but that's like alive. Yeah, that's fine. This is a ridge pole. We'll use that as a ridge pole, yep. Get rid of this shit. Yeah. Okay, I think we've decided upon a site. So basically, what we've been looking for is level-ish ground. Um, a good space between our two main trees. We've got about 15, 16 feet between these trees. Uh, we're going to run a ridge pole, which is going to be this tree here, and uh, we should be pretty good. We'll keep you along as we build it, I think. We're also far enough away from the lake where there's not going to be any wind in here, and this is a good mixture of uh, soft and hard wood, so there's plenty of, uh, plenty of firewood. Yeah, and we're, we're, we're far away from the lake. We're not going to get wind, but we're not too far where we can't walk to get water and uh, not be intrusive to other people who might be here. <sighs> You got enough room in there? Uh, go come this way a little bit more. Yeah. All right, give her hell, buddy. There you go. And how high is it? Chin height? Yeah. Nice. So we're almost done with our little wall that's going to be at the back of our shelter. This is some uh, pretty dense oak. It takes a little bit of a uh, sawing effort to get through it, but it's a good piece. We measured it. It should be long enough. Faster, Joe. Faster. You can sit down here. What's that? Sit down in front. Yeah, that's a big old chunk. And a piece of wood. Good? Yeah, it is now. <laughs> Alright, cool. Pounding a bit more after. Yeah. You want to put that in on that side or no? Because there's two big guns on this side. It's up to you. Yeah, let's do it in reverse. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Teamwork. Teamwork. Let's go. Yeah, it might fall. <laughs> we need pounds. We another, need bigger steaks. Another steak in here for sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, maybe one's in the grab middle. Me, grab me an axe. Just pound it in right now. Uh, Well, we're coming along on our shelter here. We've got a big wall on the back. There's three logs, probably. How, how thick do you think those are? 12 inches? Oh, probably close to them. Three 12 inch logs leaned up on the back on top of each other. The Mylar blanket. We've also got Bushcraft USA 10x10 tarp over top of that, but we made a framework as well. There's these poles going down and a middle ridge pole going across. Top ridge pole, another ridge pole, or another pole on the side. It's gonna be pretty cool. It's uh, Kyle can sit in his chair and still have head head height. We're gonna make a super shelter out of this, so it's bigger than we needed. But it's not like we're trying to stay too warm here. It's just trying to we're just trying to play and have some fun. Uh, we ne neither of us have done a super shelter before, so this is the purpose of this. Well, we finished our hobo village here. <laughs> Does it look as cool as we thought it was gonna look? I'm sure it'll work just fine though. So basically. 3 mil plastic on the front, it's held on the bottom by a log, we rolled it on, on the log. <clears throat> it's got some duct tape, some paracord, some buttons, uh, two tarps, yeah, so it is what it is. 
Uh, we like it. It's big inside, roomy. We're gonna actually grill up some burgers in there for lunch. So we're gonna Hopefully say. We're not die from carbon monoxide. Well, I was planning on opening a vent. No, no, I'll leave it all. It's fun. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's that. I'll take you on inside for a little view. The Shangri-La. Shangri-La ghetto. <laughs> Oh, it is warmer in here for sure. I see, yeah, I know. Oh, and I forgot to mention we have mylar on the top. Two mylar blankets. So our plan is obviously have the fire in front of the plastic. It's going to reflect the heat into, or sorry, it's going to, what is the word? Greenhouse effect the heat in? Green, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Look okay, at my... so the long wave radiation will pass through the tar pit, the mylar, and bounce back, hopefully. Wow. Yeah. You just blew my mind. Yeah, well, that's a bit too much. Okay. So yeah, we got lots of room. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna uh, put up a gear rack, I think. Gear rack. So we're spending a couple days here using our tools a lot. Axes, saws, whatnot. And it's just nice to have a spot to get them up off the ground. So you're not losing them or kicking them, you know. And if these pieces of paracord are long enough, I'm just gonna Canadian jam this sucker on. Yep, they are. And before I get it all tight and everything, I'm just gonna leave that one side hanging there like that and do the other side. It kind of holds it up for me or helps helps it hold up for me. Kyle is in the shelter cooking up some hamburgers. I can, I can smell them from out here. So it's about one o'clock and I'm getting hungry. Hungry for some lunch. Okay, you rack. You just eating pizza combos? Pizza combos, ma'am. Mm. So while we're sitting here, <clears throat> I'm just kind of relaxing. I thought I'd take a minute to uh, go over a little bit of winter camping tips that me and Kyle have adapted over a couple years we've been doing this. Um, before you go to bed, fill up your water with hot water, your water bottle with hot water, and put it in the bottom of your sleeping bag. Now, this does two things. It keeps you warm. It's like a hot water bottle, obviously. It keeps your feet warm at night but it stops your water from freezing, which is not fun in the morning when you're trying to take a drink. Kyle, uh, last year, brought two metal ones thinking that it would be all right just to throw it on the on the fire. And how long did that take? It took a while to defill. It takes 45 minutes to an hour to get mine, frozen solid. And mine was ready to go because I had it in my sleeping bag. So that's a good tip. Also, butt wipe. Uh, we like to use baby wipes. If you don't carry baby wipes in your pocket in the wintertime all day, they freeze. And if you don't bring them into bed with you at night, they freeze. So another thing to bring into bed with you in your sleeping bag, baby wipes. And as soon as you get up, put these things in your pocket or else you're not going to have a very fun time. You should always bring a big American into you. Can you shut my camera off so it stops wasting batteries, please? The other thing you forgot to say is he also likes to bring a big black. <laughs> We have the American food bags, probably approximately 12 pounds of food to start. And then we have the Canadian. What? What's wrong with that? Four oatmeal and five raisins, that's it. Raisins are sustaining. So we're all fed and getting a little chilly. We need to go get some water. And the way that we're going to procure water for this trip is we have to chop through ice and get lake water. And then we're gonna use, um, what, did you, what are they, tabs or? or uh, Aquamira. Aquamira drops, okay. And uh, as well as boiling it. So, you know, we'll see if we can chop through this ice. Five inches. 
pieces. Well, at least three or four. Cool. That's gonna be some cold water. Yeah, it is. It is. Nice. So we uh, we gathered a bunch of grass just right on the shore, 10 feet away, and we're gonna stuff this in the hole, and that's gonna do two things. That's gonna show us where our hole is, uh, so when we need to come and get more water, and it's gonna stop it from freezing solid. It'll still freeze, but this will help it from freezing solid. It's doing away with chopping, it'll open again. And I'm actually gonna get a little bit more because that's not enough. But you can see, doesn't look like anything around. That's exactly where our hole is. Is that softwood, Kyle? Oh yeah. From, uh, that was just by a mile. That was an expert, expert moment. This is some hard freaking oak. Man. Yeah, it's super dense oak. Let me have a couple swings. It's all you, man. Okay. How do I look? Sexy. Yeah, see what I mean? It's like hitting concrete, man. There you go. Get them dinner plates. Saucers. Have you been actually with Doug a lot lately? Quite that. You just you're just beating the thing in this dimension. She said. Well, we missed it. I was trying to warm my battery up in my in my pocket, but Kyle fell the tree. He fell it very well. It fell down with no hang-ups. And now we have to process this wood. This big old oak. That's gonna be the start of our firewood pile. Let the fun begin. There you go. Time to go axe. So we pounded all our steaks in there, and we're just uh, lining up our fire reflector. Maximize the warmth in that piece. Our goal is to be in t-shirts in that thing. So that with this log, our fire reflector comes to completion. So it's a nice size, you know, a thigh high size. Our fire is going to be right here, probably about this wide here. And we have a nice big step to our plastic. We're all good. This is going to theoretically be, be a pretty warm shelter. Look at those curls. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Piss. They went everywhere. That one heck of a notch there. Well, that's a wasted shot. We're getting hungry. We just finished eating our supper. We're all fed up now and feeling good. Uh, it's definitely warmer in this shelter. We've got the fire going out there, big long fire, and the, the the light coming in here is pretty good too. I've also got a candle lantern lit up there, but uh, it's pretty good, man. It's warm in here, loving life right now. It's, it's hot. Up. It's legit hot up here. <laughs> like it's it's hot where I'm sitting. Kyle's priming up his, uh, what is it, a Primus stove? Yeah, Primus OmniLite Ti. There you are, priming that up. We're gonna make up some hot chocolates. Balling out of control. This is great. Man, this is super warm. I have no socks or shoes on, obviously. My feet up on a log by the fire, and my feet are toasty. It's like to the point where I need to move them. I'm so hot. And my legs. Kyle's in shorts. And a t-shirt, oh, so a co yeah. mission accomplished, I guess. Fully accomplished, man. I'm it, starting to sweat. I might have to go to the ground. It's too hot in this chair. We survived the night. 
stayed nice and warm in there. We had uh, some pancakes for breakfast, which was awesome. <laughs> Kyle made up some pancakes. And uh, <clears throat> our, our fire reflector is completely gone here. I, no, it's completely together, man. I told you it would last tonight. We had a rip-roaring fire last night. Like, we were burning logs, huge logs. And so the front half of the poles of the reflector and all the reflector is gone, but that's okay. We just used pine, it didn't matter. Today, uh, after we go for our hike, we're probably gonna, probably gonna hike for about 10, 10 miles today around the loop. And uh, after we get back, we'll make another reflector and hang out by the fire. But that should take most of the day, that hike, so it should be pretty cool. We're gonna go down and get some water beforehand. I'm gonna pull it out there, Kyle, see? Oh, it did. Look at that. It's like I knew what I was talking about. Yeah. One For once. <laughs> For once. <laughs> yeah. What you want to do is get all the grass in your bottle. Yeah. Is that part of the technique? <laughs> Fantastic. It's extra fiber, man. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, that one's not all good. <laughs> so what are you doing, Kyle? I am using the aqua mirror drops. We got... Uh, Combine the capacity of six liters here. Ready for the drop in the, the lids. This is riveting television. It's really exciting, huh? Lots more snow over on this side of the trail. It's not like you weren't like taken away. <laughs> We've been hiking for three miles so far. We did three miles in about an hour and a half. We're putting some uh, some miles in our feet, that's for sure. We came back to a juncture over there, and it was either continue on the trail we were going on or cut up this like old logging road. And we decided to cut up the old logging road. We're still going to do about a six mile hike as opposed to a ten mile hike, but um, we'd like to get back and do a couple things around camp beforehand before it gets too dark. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to stop here for lunch and uh, relax. Kyle brought this little Arc'teryx bag. It's like a shoulder bag. And that's what we're using. We're just flipping, um, switching it all back and forth from each other, carrying it. And we've got this Platypus 2 liter bag that we got our water in. Uh, just rides a little bit easier than an Nalgene, or a couple Nalgenes actually. As we go that way, we're going to so take it right here. Take it right. We should come up and that lake should be right up there. Yep, a few inches, five, five inches thick. How you feeling, Kyle? I'm a little tired. Yeah, me... About seven and a half, eight miles. We're here for some lunch, man. Yeah, I'm freaking exhausted too. It's a good thing we opted for the uh, the shorter trail. Yeah, let's go 20 miles. <laughs> I don't know about that, Joe. Uh, we got a piece of um, balsam fir. We're gonna try and do a bow drill out of. See if it works. If we get some energy. Ready to go get some firewood? Yes, sir. Let's go. Some dense cherry. Yeah. Watch that kickback. There you go. Yep. Tree's a little hung up. Joe's gonna fix it here. busy day today uh, we did that like eight mile hike we came back and uh, started doing some wood processing like crazy we got this fire reflector built up again of like logs off the ground because our, our fire reflector from yesterday went up in an inferno it was amazing uh, and we got tree trunks over here like telephone pole size wood to use for our fire tonight 
I'm just splitting up some small stuff right now because that stuff ain't gonna burn by itself. Um, on the agenda for the rest of the day, just hang out, cook some pizza for supper, and uh, finish up the, cap the uh, Sailor Jerry tonight. We'll be heading out here tomorrow, probably around 10 in the morning or whatever. Looks good. Yeah. Nice. Cool. So I got my, uh, we're using balsam fir here. And I got a tinder bundle made of birch bark. And this thing looks like it's gonna peter out on me. It's done. It's yeah. Done. I drove right through it. Right. Go. I've lost interest in this. I like try it every now and then, but I'm just mean like right now. Oh, <laughs> it's close. Can you go again? Nah, I'm done. Yeah, I hear you. I'm ready for food. I'm hungry. Pizza it up, bro. What? Pizza it up. Yeah. So this is what you do when you forget your can opener and you need to open your pizza sauce. Get another one over here. Oh, that smells so good. No, just one. There, that works. Pour it over there. So what do you got going on there, Kyle? We got some pizza go going. We got mozzarella cheese and pepperoni. And Joe was so kind to just uh, open up some pizza sauce. And uh, we're going to cook it in Spain. Spain! Supper was fabulous. We're stuffed now. Uh, just relaxing. Got my feet up. And uh, the heat's actually coming through that really good now. We got a big log on there burning. It's, it's not even late. No, it can't even be 8 o'clock at night. I'm drunk. I need to eat some food. And all we have is combos. Cheddar cheese combos. Cheddar cheese! Not pizza combos. Yeah, I ran out. Cheddar cheese combos. Dude, I'm melting. Absolutely melting. I, I, I've been... I, I've been colder in August. Have you? This is insane. What about May? I, I don't even... I don't, what about I don't October? Know. Like, I feel like I'm in a tanning bed. This what is, about September? Yeah, every January? Month. Yeah. Here we are on the last morning of our trip. Slept real good last night. It was uh, super hot in that shelter. It's crazy. Uh, today's the warmest day it's been so far. Uh, we're just packing up now and whatnot. I got a little bit, somewhat of a new sleep system, so I thought I'd go over it just really quick before I tear it down. So, I got a bivy bag. I never had used a bivy before. They're pretty cool. Um, this is an REI minimalist bivy. It was like $100 at REI. It's, it's good. It wasn't that breathable. Uh, the first night I had it zipped up all the way and I, I got a lot of condensation and sweat in there. So the next two nights I left it zipped down halfway like this and it was much better. Uh, for summertime it's got this little bit of a screen mesh for your face which is cool so the bugs don't get you. I wish it would have had like um, something that I can... Oh it does actually. <laughs> Look at that. I can hang it up so it stays off my face. I found it. It's right there. Good. Yeah. Anyways, so and then my sleeping bag is a Mountain Hardware. It's a 600 fill down. It's uh, rated uh, to 20 degrees or negative seven, I believe, in Celsius. So that's a good uh, bag. Doesn't weigh too much. <coughs> Inside, I got my pillow, like always. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Same thermal rest and <coughs> my reflectix underneath. Kind of keeps another barrier so sticks and stuff don't poke my, my pad. And it, I, I would wager to say it adds a little bit of warmth. We're somewhat packed up. I just wanted to show that fire reflector back wall we used. Um, didn't use it as a fire reflector, obviously, but we used it as a wall for our shelter. It worked out pretty well. This area had abundant resources. We got to <laughs> capitalize on them pretty good. So we're just breaking down. Got to clean up everything. We still got a ton of firewood left. We'll stack that up for the... Next time we come here, call it good.
you can see how much warmer it actually got. The ice now looks like water. It's real dodgy. I wouldn't be caught dead out there. We're back at the truck now. You can see I changed into my blue jeans. One thing we've been doing is bring change, clean change of clothes and leaving in the car so that when you get to the car you can change out for the ride home. Uh, normally when I drive, when I go anywhere I have to drive at least four or five hours. That's the ride at home today is about a five hour drive. So it's nice to have clean underwear, socks, clothes, you know. This, is a, this was a really cool trip. I had a great time. Um, did some new stuff. That super shelter was new for both of us. It was really cool. Well, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. And stay tuned, I will be making a lot more videos. I know I haven't uh, had a few out, any out in a long time, but they're coming. Thanks.